you can tell from the title of today's video, I'm doing a makeup tutorial every day, makeup tutorial for back to school. Um, so my hair looks a bit weird, um, please excuse that because it's kind of part of the video, kind of part of my everyday routine. So I'm going to show that towards the end, so we'll ignore this, but at least it's out of my face, it makes it easier. Also, I was too, um, it's too hot to actually turn, like, put the ring light up, so I'm sorry if the lighting's a bit odd. I tried to make it, like, as bright and, like, light as I could with the settings, with the manual settings on the camera. So, yeah, but it's too hot to have my light up because I'm sweating already as it is. So, yes. Okay, we're going to get into this. I'm doing chit chat one because that's what I did for my last, um, everyday makeup tutorial too. Um, I just like these kind of videos better sometimes when they're more, like, chit chat, really. So yeah, we're gonna start. Um, so I've already moisturised obviously and I use the, oh, forgot what it's called, it's from Lush. Um, I'll probably put the name here if I forget it or in the description most likely. So um, it's a Lush moisturiser, it has like lavender in it and stuff like that. It's really nice, it kind of helps um, keep my skin like less oily and stuff and like even mo moisturised too. And then obviously I have my lip balm already on Carmex because yeah, by the end of the tutorial, end of doing my makeup, makeup routine, my lips tend to dry out anyway, so do it first. Alright, so I'm going to start off with primer. Usually when I'm um, having, no, I'm going to have a, like, a long day of uni or like obviously currently in summer I've been going to work. So like a long day of work. This has been my everyday routine too. Um, I use primer. So today I'm using the Nivea Sensitive Poche Balm because it's very good at controlling your oil. Um, I do often sometimes use the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and then sometimes I use the Clinique Primer too which is it's all super primer and it's the colour correcting one. I use that in like the dark spots so like around here sometimes around my cheeks. because um, it does actually help colour correct sometimes underneath the foundation. So it's nice but today it's really hot and it's really warm so I'm going to use this. Oh it's just gone dark a bit. Sorry. Okay so I use this one. Um, so I'm going to use it. Um, so um, obviously primer is totally tr optional but I think when you're going to school you're there for like six hours or so depending on your school obviously but you're there for quite a while. So, usually, I prefer to have a primer on. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. I usually rub my hands together and apply it on. This might be too much, actually, but... You know what? It's really hot today. So, whatever. I don't care right now. I'm trying to, like, go like this to fan it off a bit. Because it takes a bit of time to dry down if you use too much. This isn't really doing much. <laughs> There we go, packet of tissues is doing so much better. Okay, so while it's drying down, I'll start off setting up my foundation. So, obviously my last back to school everyday makeup tutorial, I used the Estee Lauder foundation. I still love that foundation, totally like holy grail foundation. But I've run out of it and I haven't really bought back up yet anyway. Um, so I tried to like try another foundation up and so I try, I'm trying um, more of a light to medium coverage foundation, which is the number seven, huh, number seven stay perfect foundation. Um, and I'm in the shade Warm Sand, um, so yeah, um, this is it. It's a really nice bottle actually, I quite like it. It's kind of glass, like frosted glass. It's very, it's very, very elegant, very nice. Um, and it's definitely not like full coverage like Estee Lauder, but a lot of the time I don't need full coverage anymore. My skin isn't too bad, like I break it occasionally, like I'm, you probably won't see it, I don't know. But I'm breaking out right there, I'm going to zoom you guys in the teens. I'm currently breaking out like right here, um, like on my chin area, but um, other than that, I don't break out that much unless it's like, you know, T.O.M. time of the month and I get hormonal acne mainly so it's that time usually I get acne and spots and stuff so that's when I break out. But otherwise, I do okay. My skin isn't too bad. Like I have a bit of like dark spots and stuff but it's okay. I can use like a light to medium coverage foundation. So I use this one and I'm just going to pump a bit on the back of my hand. You probably can't see this. <laughs> um, I probably do about one and a half. Um, and then what I do is I dot it on my face. It's a bit of a different technique than what I used to do, but I dot it on my face. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I go back again. And then my neck, obviously you guys know the whole story about how my face is darker than the rest of my body and all that. You've probably heard it so many times now on this channel. If you're not if you're not new, if you're an old subscriber then you know. If you're a new viewer then you probably don't know, but um my skin is a bit like all over the place the colour wise. I have makeup wipes right next to me. I'm very prepared today. Um, typically I wouldn't be this prepared even like on a day when I'm doing my own makeup I'm not this prepared. But I am today for the tutorial. So I am prepared. I'm just going to wipe this off my finger because I'm wearing black and white and 
the white parts of my outfit are gonna get dirty very very easily if I don't clean my hands because I'm clumsy like that so what I'm gonna use to blend out my foundation is um, this little brush it's like an oval brush and I actually reviewed Sassy the first impression of this brush set but the video actually hasn't gone up yet this video is definitely gonna go up before that so when it does go up I'll put a link up here somewhere like you'll see a little card pop up here I'm looking at the screen to see if it's here it's probably gonna be here somewhere You'll see it pop up and then you can view that video and like how these brushes are. I used to use, oh I do actually use, but I still use the Real Techniques and Miracle Sponge, a little orange sponge. But I thought I'd vary it up for the video because I tend to always use that sponge in all my makeup tutorials whenever I'm doing foundation. So I thought I'd use this because I do use it sometimes, but um, a lot of the times the sponge is quicker. So I use that, but because I'm doing a tutorial today, I'll just use this. Need the other side. Okay. So just blending it out. As you can see it really like blows it out so well so uh, that's why I like this brush it does do that but it takes a bit longer than a sponge because I'm used to using a sponge for foundation I don't typically use a brush so this is why it takes me a bit longer with this okay so usually this like one layer isn't enough I usually will do two layers because like I said it's a light to medium coverage um, but today I'm gonna stick to one layer because it's not too bad actually I'm just gonna take off whatever's left on my back of my hand and just like put it down onto my neck a bit more um, so yeah it does make your face feel a bit itchy this brush um, maybe it's just because I have sensitive skin but um, after a while it kind of fades away so like right now I'm feeling itchy around my nose um, but it usually fades away quite soon so I'm alright with that so I don't know if you guys will see this in the um, camera but um, I'm still like spots you can still see them through a little bit um, I don't know if you can see the redness of them but you probably definitely still see them it doesn't actually give full coverage um, but it's good enough for every day I think I don't need heavy full coverage on it every day going to uni just going to work just doing a bit of errands kind of day so that's why I use it um, then I will also sometimes use concealer but a lot of times I don't because I'm gonna be honest here like no one that I can see has ever covered my dark circles like nothing's worked that brilliant like I love my Maybelline eye eraser because um, that's what I usually use but it doesn't really cover my eye bags that much like nothing really covers the darkness under my eyes like you can probably still see it even after my foundation so I've kind of given up with that like unless I really want to wear like full coverage and just put a concealer under my eyes I won't do it anymore so I haven't been doing it lately um, so next I take my one heck of a blot um, translucent powder and I set my foundation because that's always important also doing this usually helps the itchiness go down too um, so I like doing that oh this is the Morphe G7 brush I really like this it's really fluffy go to Steve's <coughs> well oh my god <laughs> it's a really nice fluffy brush it really gets all the product on your face nicely it's <coughs> I just hit my eye Wow, I'm looking really pale in the viewfinder. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not this pale in real life. I think it's just because I set the manual light. I took the lighting off a bit manually, so I might be looking a bit pale. Um, so yeah, that's that done. I think that's enough for me. Yep, that sets it just about enough. As you can see, like a lot of the times around my nose will still be kind of red. I'm not too fussed with that anymore. I used to be, but it's like I always have a continual cold. Um, so I have hay fever in the summer and then I have like flu and colds in the winter so around this area is quite red for me a lot of the time so I don't bother too much I just kind of like I let it shine through my foundation it's alright for me I don't mind um, if you do mind you might want to cover it a bit more but usually for me I don't fuss too much if it's still a bit red around here because it's going to get redder throughout the day anyway <laughs> so yeah um, next for me is bronzer I usually do all my face first and then go into other little things um, actually no Let's change it up a bit. I'm going to do my brows today at first. Because um, sometimes I do do my brows first. So that's what I'm going to do. Just grab my little brow kit. Everything's right here on the table next to me. <laughs> so um, I use the sleek brow kit. Uh, you guys know this. I use it in every video that I do. Dab some product onto it. I'm just going to open it up. So first I'm going to brush through my brows. You just heard my powder brush fall. I'm sorry. Um, so first I'm going to brush through my brows. Real good. Currently my brows aren't very well groomed, um, you probably can't see in the video because they're not too close to me because um, the camera is not too close to me so you probably can't tell but in my little mirror here that's quite magnifying, I can't tell um, 
Um, at the moment, like, hair, I've got stray hairs and stuff, like, in the middle and, like, underneath. I haven't had a good, haven't had thread in it in a while. Probably going to do them a bit in a few weeks' time. Um, but, yeah. Um, I just kind of, I don't really care. I'm going to be completely honest. I just don't really care sometimes. So I leave them ungroomed. Um, so when I'm filling in my eyebrows, it's a bit of a harder job because I can't necessarily, like, shape them as well as I normally can. Just take the powder and the brush and then just kind of, like, gently fill them in. Like, nothing major. Not, not trying to shape it. Just trying to make them look a bit more groomed, I guess. So that's what I do. And then I just brush them through to distribute the powder a bit because sometimes I can get a bit overboard and do it too much. So I just brush them through. And that's my brows. Um, I'm usually quite happy with that much. Um, sometimes I'll go in a bit more, go in a bit less. It just depends on the day. Um, so obviously this isn't completely accurate, but it, it really just depends on my mood as well. Um, my mood plays a big role in how my makeup usually looks. Um, so, like I was saying, I ne then go in with my bronzer, um, which isn't really a bronzer, it's kind of a blush. Um, it's a Sally Hansen Natural Beauty Natural Powder Blush, long name. Um, but the colour of it means that it works perfectly for me. So, you probably see this in my one of my last makeup videos, but it's kind of broken and... Um, I still use it but as you can see the colour of it it's kind of like a brownish colour so it works perfectly as a bronzer for me so that's what I use um I also do have some other bronzers but I've just been using this a lot lately and then I take it on a kind of I'm just powdering the brush up um I take quite a bit on a little um e.l.f. complexion brush um it's kind of fluffy enough to get like just a bronzed kind of look so and then I go in on my face Nothing special about this, I just kind of work it into like around the edges of my face. Um, there's nothing like special about the way I do it, it's just the way I do it really. We all get lost it's not very pigmented though so you have to kind of pick up a lot but it works better in my favour I think because I can get very heavy handed with product products. So I think the fact that it's not very uh, pigmented means I can build it on myself carefully. Um, I'm very heavy handed with most things, um, so it makes it easier for me. And then I usually take a little bit onto the jawline, just right underneath here. Nothing major. Sometimes on the nose a little bit. Yeah, and that's it. You probably can't tell a major difference in the viewfinder, but I think it really bronzes up my face very well because I can't see much in the viewfinder right now where I'm looking. Um, but I think it works pretty well. So what I used to do was go do blush first and then highlighter. But what I've been doing lately is highlighter first and then blush. Um, mainly because I I know I love highlighter quite a lot. But I don't need this much highlighter on a day like when I'm wearing much makeup. If I have like a heavy eyes, smoky, full thing done. Then highlighter looks nice because it really finishes off the look very well. But on days like this where I'm not doing much and I haven't got much on my face, it's better to wear less highlighter, which is really sad for me because I love highlighter. But I think it just looks better on me personally. Um, so I've been using my MAC Soft and Gentle again lately. Um, it's this one. It's in a really old packaging. I know they've updated their packaging since th since I've had it, but I'm not going to buy a new one for no reason when I've still got this. Um, so I take the little um, Zoeva 129 Luxe Fan Brush. Um, it's very dirty, as you can see. I haven't cleaned it. Um, it's what I've been using this past week when I've been doing my makeup. But... <laughs> Um, I just kind of load it up. There's no really precise bit of me doing this, and then I just kind of, oops, let me grab my mirror, and then I just kind of do it here. High points, really. That's it. As you can see, I'm holding the brush like from the end, which I don't normally do. I usually hold my brush like this, right close. But that's what makes it more like harsh and intense. If I do it like this, I get like more of a like light feathering, feathered fan kind of look. Then I usually dip in some more because I can't help myself. Whoa, it suddenly went very, very dark. <laughs> it was just a, like very gradual, it was very, very dark. I saw it from the window. Okay, and then I take a very small amount of like the rest of my face, like my nose and my cupid's bow, my chin. Nothing too much, just a little bit. And then I'll just go back and see if I want anything else, anywhere else really. And that's usually enough for me. Um, I know it's like the least amount of highlighter I would ever usually wear. But um, 
it works for my everyday look and it makes everything a lot quicker too so that's why I do it because makeup typically would take me about 10 to 15 minutes to do if I'm not talking obviously I'm talking with you guys on the camera right now so it's taking me a bit longer but usually when I'm not doing like multiple tasks at a time I can do this makeup in 10 to 15 minutes which is perfect if you're running late for school or if you're like me and you prefer to sleep in more versus waking up early to do makeup so yeah and it's gone very very dark suddenly so I'm very very sorry about that uh, but then I take my little elf blush palette um it's in the shade dark and it's got like really gorgeous uh colors but I use this one this is one I use the most these four are a little bit too bright for me um so I use this one and they're nice but they're not good for everyday I think personally so I use this one so I take a little elf blush brush which isn't the best it's kind of flat but it gives me an all right look so I just use this one and then I kind of brush it onto my cheeks and brush upwards as you'll see and because I've already got the highlighter down and then I put the uh, brush on top it kind of looks like you're highlighted from within like you're glowing from within like it's not highlighted well actually you can tell it's highlighter but you guys can kind of get what I mean it looks like you've got a natural glow kind of going on um, so that's why I do my blush on top and I specifically focus my blush more here so you can kind of go on top of some of the highlighters okay that's that and the last thing in my makeup routine is lipstick um this can change on a day-to-day -day basis depending on what i want to wear but lately i've been sticking with a very neutral pink color um which is this it's from nyx it's a soft my lip cream in the shade Prague it's really pretty Prague I said that really weird in Prague and it's really really pretty color um and it just gives a nice like pinkiness to the lips that I don't naturally have so it's nice um I don't take too much I just kind of do like that and then I just kind of spread it onto my lips I don't do anything too oops I hit the tripod I don't do anything too accurate like I don't lip line or anything unless I really want to sometimes I will do a bit of lip liner but most days when I'm running late I just want to do a bit of lipstick I just really do this um And then I like, um, rub my lips together. As you can see, or oh, I can see in the viewfinder. I don't know if you guys can see it this bright, but it already looks very, very bright. So I like it. That's the most awkwardest part ever. My cupid's bow. I probably explained this many, many times on my channel. I have a very awkward shaped cupid's bow. Um, now currently it's very, very wet. So what I do is take a tissue and I get one out of this packet. Um, I kind of blot it um, because it just makes it kind of less like wet really I get that's such a weird word to use but that's what it does um, I just take it and I'm like and then sometimes I'll go with my finger and blend bits out so it kind of looks like how your lips would look if you've just eaten like an ice pop or something like an ice lolly and like, like a really red ice lolly and your lips look really red afterwards kind of like that kind of look I know some people refer to it as a kind of bitten look. Um, I don't know, but I just think I imagine like after eating an ice lolly kind of look, and then I sometimes will go back and dab a bit more if I need a bit more. So, because I usually prefer the middle of my lip to be more concentrated with the colour, and that is the look, guys. Um, so next, what I would do is take out my hair. On most days, if I'm being really, really lazy, um, I will do this, but. I don't do much with my hair at all like I'm more into my makeup than hair um, I'm very low maintenance with my hair completely so I either straighten it and I usually would do that the night before because I'm lazy like I said and I just have to do touch ups in the morning and I have really thick hair so it just takes a long time to straighten so I'll straighten it the night before and then in the morning I'll do touch ups or if my hair is wet which usually it is because I wash it I wash it twice a week so on those days I will do this and that's what I've been doing lately it's kind of like a heatless method which I tie it up and twist it and stuff and it gives you nice waves so I'm going to let my hair down because I actually haven't let my hair down since I woke up and it's now nearly 5 o'clock because um, I was leaving it for this video so you guys should appreciate the fact that I've been walking around like this around the house so yeah I mean it's something major like it really actually makes my hair out of my face so it's nice um, I'm just letting go of the hair ties first sometimes hair will fall out so I have to check my hair tie because my hair does fall out quite a bit um, so I'm just checking there's not extra hair in the stuck in the hair tie Okay, and then it kind of just sits like this, as you can see. Oh, 
Oh wow, it's very, very wavy today. And then I kind of just run my hair plans through it. My hair just fell like crazy. Like when it gets twisted up, it kind of falls out more because obviously it's getting twisted. Um, so I just kind of run my hands through it. I'm just going to zoom out a bit because I can see better. Sorry. Um, and it's currently in the middle part, which I actually quite kind of like. Um, I don't always keep it like this, obviously. Like I don't put like a middle part. I prefer more of a side parting. Um, it's more wavy than it normally is. It's kind of strange. Uh, maybe because I kept it in a bit longer. Um, so I just kind of like do this so like the loose hair will come out kind of thing and then what I do is use hairspray or clay um currently I just my clay is all the way over there I can't bother to get it um so I'm using hairspray which is the Batiste stylist hold me hairspray um it's not that great like it smells really 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 bad but it works it does the job so <laughs> it just smells really really bad I really don't like the smell of this at all so I come do this, flip my hair upside down, like zhuzh it up a bit like this, I don't know if you guys can see this, and then kind of let my hair set how it wants to, like let it sit, I'm really, like I said, I'm really low maintenance with my hair, I just let it sit however it wants to, so I'm just going to let it sit like this, um, so guys, this is my look, um, this is my everyday hair and makeup routine, um, I hope you guys enjoy this, I hope it wasn't too long for you guys, um, because I didn't want to be really chitty chatty, I just wanted to talk with you guys, like, I didn't want to do a voiceover today, I just wanted to talk, um, so yeah, oh, I'm still breathing in the hairspray, <laughs> I'm still breathing it in, um, so this is my look, it's very, very easy, very low maintenance, like, if you're really new to makeup, this is, like, something really easy to do, even if you're not new to makeup, like, I've been doing makeup for many, many years now, many, many years, I've only been doing it for about four, five, mm, let's see, actually, 13, 14, 15, 16, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, it's going to be 20 this year, so about 8 years. I like I do have a bit of skill when it comes to like smoky eyes and stuff. Um, not that I do eye makeup that often. Um, but like this is really easy even if like you do do a lot of makeup like me and you just want to have an easy look like for school or work and stuff like that and every day. Um, this is really a simple look. It really brightens up your face. You can see like it just kind of closes off your face very nicely. Closes kind of like gives you like a finished look to your face so like you look very put together I guess um so yeah I'm sorry if my makeup tutorials are very like all the same lately um I just do this look all the time um so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this I'm very proud of like oh my god I like it um you can also add mascara I just don't do it um my eyes are very very sensitive as I mentioned before so I don't wear mascara very often um but I do like my little Clinique, Clinique High Impact Mascara it's a little sample and I want to get a full version of it so I can use it um, because I need to probably throw that sample away now because it's getting a bit disgusting um, but that mascara is actually one of the few mascaras that doesn't make my eyes water too much or anything so if you guys have any suggestions for mascaras that don't make your eyes water or you know are good for sensitive eyes please leave them in the comments down below because I really want to like wear mascara again because sometimes my eyelashes like get coated in powder and stuff like you probably can't tell but I have naturally long lashes but like I need them to be more darker and stand out sometimes so I do like to try different mascaras but they don't all work for me so do let me know if you guys have any suggestions for good mascaras that don't make eyes water or aren't, are good for sensitive eyes um and leave them in the description and leave them in the description and leave them in the comments down below I will have all the products that I've used and mentioned even if I didn't use in the description down below I hope you give it a thumbs up if you like this video if you like if you've liked my back to school series, give it a thumbs up because I tried really hard on my back to school series this year. Last year I did like one video. This year I've tried to do a few. If you've liked them, give them a thumbs up and make sure you let me know so I know I can be prepared for next year too. Already thinking ahead because I love back to school season. And yeah, um, remember to subscribe down below. Um, if you like my videos and you want to see more of me, I upload once a week usually. But this time I'll be doing it twice a week for back to school. But I usually upload on the weekend so stay tuned for that and I should talk to you guys real soon.